Welcome to day 27 of your mindful experiment. Now tell me if you've ever been in this situation. Somebody asks you to do something and you don't want to do it, but you don't want to say no. So now it sounds something like this. Um, I think I can, but I've got to do this thing and then I've got to do that thing. And I don't know if I have enough time and I'll try to squeeze it in, but then I have to go there and um, yeah, I'll do my best. Okay. Oh my gosh, so overwhelming. I don't know about you, but I've been there because you have a mix of guilt and then not wanting to do it. So then resentment, where it would have been best just to say, let me get back to you on that. Now let's tie this example with yesterday's experiment. Yesterday, you spent a little time getting to know how your body viewed a yes or what was truthful for you or what was for you, right? A yes. You learned what your body shows you as your personal no, or what doesn't feel good for you. Now, obviously, when somebody asks you to do something, you're not going to say, hold on, let me see what my body says. Oh, that's a no. I get that. Instead, you want to practice that graceful pause of giving yourself time to really think about it and to check in with your intuition to maybe put yourself through that yes and no exercise while you're strengthening your intuition. So today is about being mindful of your needs and giving yourself the grace of a pause. So instead of giving that instant yes or no, or that ridiculous example I gave you where I've been there, I know you have too, of I don't know, da 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 da, you instead kind of rewire your response to say, I'm not sure. Let me check my calendar and I'll get back to you. So you have the on the spot thing to say when you're asked to do something that you're not sure about, but the natural response might be yes, because you're a yes person, right? Where you can give yourself the grace of really checking in with yourself and getting back to that person with a very simple, no, I can't do that. That's not going to work for me. Or yes, I can do that. So today's experiment to sum this up is simply training yourself. You have to practice to say, let me get back to you on that. So here's how I think you should practice. Even if something is a yes or a no for you, maybe for a few weeks, practice. Let me check my calendar and get back to you. So you can start to say that so that when you have that urge to say yes, when you mean no, your new urge is let me get back to you. So what I want you to do today is I'm sure there'll be a some point today where you're asked to do something where you could give a yes or a no. Instead, practice saying, let me get back to you on that. See how it feels. In the comments, let me know when you were able to practice that today and how it felt. This will help to increase the mindfulness of our own needs. So we give ourselves that grace to check in to see really what we need. Does that need to be a yes for us? Does it need to be a no? And how can we really take care of ourselves so when we say yes, we mean yes. And when we say no, we mean no. Mindfulness of your needs is what today is all about. Thank you so much for playing.